Hey guys, it's Shelby with a Chick Plus 3. So I thought what the plan would be for today is I'm headed to my local Dollar Tree. So I'm going to take you all along and we are going to check out what new treasure we can find in store today. Oh, I want to show you some friend mail I got from my friend Elaine that I am going to use this bag today. Look at this, the Disney villains. I was never able to find this bag in store and she sent me this. I'm so excited to use it. And then also look at this adorable little notepad. That is for sure me. All you need is love and coffee. And then look at this, this beautiful little prayer card box. Isn't that the sweetest thing? I love the little pen and the little notes. So adorable. So thank you, Elaine. But I'm going to cut the tag off of this, and this is going to be my bag for the day. I just love it. I wanted to show you this spot down the road from our house. I had to get out and show you the sky. Look how beautiful it is. We arrived, so we're going to head right inside. I started off in the crafters square aisle. Look at all this new fabric. Aren't these colors gorgeous? So many patterns. It also looked like they just stocked the ribbons. I love when there are brand new full boxes of ribbon to choose from. And just beware, look at, even though that's the same ribbon, the checks are different sizes. So many to choose from. That was like a jeweled ribbon. I'm not sure if they've had these out before. These seemed much smaller than the usual ones. I rather liked them. And this is funny. You either can find a ton of these or none at all. These high dome cloches. These cellophane bows really caught my eye. These looked brand new in my store. I've never seen them before, but the colors were absolutely gorgeous. So vibrant. I love that blue. I hauled this in the red and white last week. Now I found it in the blue. And new candle lines out. This is the first time seeing these. Now some of these I think that they have had in the past, but it looked like that they had newly stocked them. Here are the paper file holders back again, and I found more of the pencil sharpeners. I checked out the backpacks to see if they had any different colors, but just the same three, and more of the tri-fold folders. Here was some fun modeling magic, maybe for a summer project. They had it in a few different colors, white and red. And then I even saw a blue. And of course I had to look at the notebooks. Those two caught my eye by jot. And this was a new line to me. They've had the tattoos before, but all these different patterns I have not seen out previously. I thought those would be fun for the kiddos for the summer. And of course I had to check out the pet aisle. Some new scarves there. And I thought, wow, do these shelves look bare? But then down below, I think that's where all the toys ended up. I found these Olive Garden Italian dressings again. Now, I've never tried this Remy Rose line from the Dollar Tree, but it looked newly stocked. And here's another shot of the makeup aisle. 
My Dollar Tree, as you can see, has quite a large makeup aisle. It was fairly neat today. I always enjoy looking at the false eyelashes, even though I have never ventured to try them out. I always check for some new makeup. And I did find a few new things from the Wet n Wild line today that I have not seen myself in store before. They had some more of the Wet n Wild lipsticks back in stock. The liquid cat suits were available again. More pretty lipsticks, and I even found the L'Oreal Metallics back in stock today. They had some new lines of toothbrushes out. And of course, I always check out the hair color. I love to use the hair color. And they had more of this Glacier uh, Facial Mist. I am really enjoying that. And they had the cleanser too. I've never tried the facial cleanser. I love all of these little purse size moisturizers, especially in the winter, and I'm always checking out the false nails lately, although I am having no luck at all keeping them on my fingers. And some of my favorite kitchen staples back in the cutting boards, the steak knives, the strainer, these are some of my favorite products. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys these. I just picked these up today and I want to pop them right into the freezer and then I'm sure I will forget to show them in a haul at a later date. But look at this, Fortune Avenue Pork and Vegetable Pot Stickers, Chinese Style Raviolis. I thought that those looked really you know tasty something different and then what i was super excited to find again is this tj farms rice to veggies cauliflower i've picked this up in the past you can steam it right in the bag a dollar is a great deal but i always forget to share this with you because my freezer things i get home i put them right in the freezer and then when i do my hauls i always seem to forget but this is what the packaging looks like and I think this is a great deal for a dollar this I have never tried before but I am excited to give it a try oh and do you see that it says it's a product of the USA that's pretty cool and this is another freezer item I grabbed. I've never tried these before. State Fair Classic Corn Dogs. In all honesty, I don't think I have ever even had a corn dog, but my grandkids like them, so I thought one day when they're over here later in the summer, this would be a nice little treat for them. And you get two in this box, so, you know, that's not, that's not a bad deal. State Fair, made with real honey, classic corn dogs, and it says you can microwave them. I don't know if any of you have tried these, but I figured, hey, we'll check them out. And the last freezer item I grabbed was this Minute Maid Soft Frozen Limeade Cherry. They have this in a couple of different flavors. I thought it'd be something different to try. So I'm not sure though, soft frozen limeade, if I'm going to have to let this sit on the counter a little bit to eat it because it definitely, um, you know, it's a little soft right now from being in my car, but it will firm up if I put it in my freezer, I'm sure. But I thought that looked tasty, limeade cherry. That's something that reminds me of my childhood. So Minute Maid Soft Frozen Limeade Cherry, brand name. I thought that that looked like something fun to try. Now, while I was out, my husband made some blueberry muffins. I don't know if any of you have ever used the frozen blueberries from the Dollar Tree, but what a great deal. And especially when you use them in baking, they are perfect. So he uses a recipe that's called Jordan Marsh Blueberry Muffins. 
When we were younger, there was a store literally named Jordan Marsh and they sold the most delicious blueberry muffins. Well, to my knowledge, Jordan Marsh no longer exists, but we do have their recipe and so we make the muffins ourselves. I love to put a little bit of butter on mine and just zap it in the microwave for a few seconds, melt the butter, they are so good. So if anybody is interested in the Jordan Marsh blueberry muffin recipe, I would be more than happy to share it with you all. Just let me know in the comments down below and I can email it to you. So that's everything I have to share for today. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my Dollar Tree and spending a little bit of my day with me. Coming up next, I am going to have my Dollar Tree Lemon Challenge, so I'm really excited about sharing that. And until next time, everybody, please be well.